In this lecture, we will discuss how to create digital to analog converters. There will be some complicated circuits and equations in this lecture. I encourage you to focus on understanding the broad picture view of what these circuits do, and work out the exact analysis of the equation and circuits analysis later, if you're interested. In a previous lecture, we showed that the ideal D2A used an ideal low-pass filter to convert a series of impulse functions with heights determined by y of n to create y of a. This system is impossible to realize because we cannot create the perfect impulse train needed to implement the system. Therefore, we typically use a different system that is easier to implement. This system is called the zero-order hold. The zero-order hold system simply filters y of n with the filter p sub a to create a stepwise approximation of y sub a. The stepwise function would need to be smoothed by a filter f sub a to create y sub a of t. To figure out what this smoothing filter needs to be, let's take a closer look at p sub a. Since p sub a is a rectangle in the time domain, p sub a of omega will be a sync function in the frequency domain. Suppose that y sub a has a band-limited triangular frequency response. This means we will have repeating copies of the triangular frequency response at every interval of 2 pi. This frequency response would be scaled by the sync function of p sub a of omega to create y bar sub a. To recreate y bar sub a of omega, we need to remove all frequency content beyond pi over t, and we need to undo the scaling caused by the sync function between negative pi and t over t and pi over t. So based on the shape of the sync function, we can qualitatively see that f sub a of omega needs to be a low pass filter with cutoff frequency pi over t and that also slightly emphasizes the higher frequencies to undo the scaling caused by the sync function. Now, let's discuss how we create the zero order hold function. The zero order hold is created by using a resistor ladder to scale the output voltage so it is proportional to the binary number that encoded the signal's magnitude. By re using resistors in a 2 to 1 ratio, the voltages at the top will scale by a factor of 2. The B values correspond to the bits that encoded the signal's magnitude. If a bit is 0, then that rung of the ladder will be connected to ground and will not contribute to the voltage of the signal at that time. If a bit is 1, then that rung of the ladder will connect to the op-amp and increase the voltage of the output of the signal. 